Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java Enterprise Programming Tutorial Series video. Today, I will teach you, how to create a Java EE stateless session bean, in an enterprise application using NetBeans. Friends. Session beans are Java reusable components, that holds business logic for distributed web applications. Stateless session bean is one of the type of session bean. It implements business logic, without maintaining any conversational state with client. Thus, once it process the request, it forgets about the request. Let's move ahead to NetBeans and, see how to create a Java EE stateless session bean, in an enterprise application. Friends. In order to create a stateless session bean, let's create an enterprise application. Go to File menu and select New Project. New Project dialog box gets open. In the Categories list, select Java EE and, select Enterprise Application in the Projects list. Click Next. Moving ahead. New Enterprise Application dialog box gets open. Enter the name of the Enterprise Application as, Calculator Demo. Click Next. Server and Settings section of the New Enterprise Application dialog box gets open. Select Glassfish Server 4 as the server. Choose Java EE 7 as Java EE version. Select both checkboxes to create EJB module and Web Application module. Click Finish. In Projects tab, three modules gets created. It has Calculator Demo Enterprise Application. Open it. It has two Java EE modules, pointing to other two applications such as Calculator Demo War and Calculator Demo EJB. Calculator Demo War has all the web components. And Calculator Demo EJB has all the EJB components. Let's go to Calculator Demo EJB, and create a session bean. Right click on Calculator Demo EJB and select New, Session Bean. New Session Bean dialog box gets open. Provide an EJB name say, Calculator Bean. Go to Package and provide a package name as, com. Hubberspot. Session. Stateless. Select the checkbox for stateless session bean. Click Finish. A stateless session bean gets created. It has few annotations such as at the rate stateless and at the rate local bean. At the rate stateless makes it a stateless session bean. At the rate local bean makes it a local bean, I will describe it in upcoming tutorials. Let's create few calculator basic methods such as, add, subtract, multiply and division. All methods take in two integers such as, number 1 and number 2. They perform algebraic operations on numbers and return back an integer value.
Let's move ahead to calculator demo war module. Go to web pages folder and open index.html file. In this file, we will take user inputs for number 1 and number 2, and forward it to stateless session beans for calculation. Let's give this page a title as, Calculator. In order to take user inputs for number 1 and number 2, we will create a HTML form. In form element we specify request as a post request, through method attribute. It has action attribute which specify where this form will be submitted, when submit button is clicked. For now leave it as empty, we will see it later. Moving ahead. Create a HTML table. In HTML table, create a row by tr element. This row will specify a column for number 1 label and a column for its value. TD element in a row specifies a column. For two columns we provide two TD elements. This one TR along with its TD makes a row for number 1 input. Let's copy and paste for number 2 input. Paste once again for a submit button. It has a single row and single column, so we will remove one TD element. In first row, first column, let's provide a label to prompt user for number 1 input as Enter, value, of, number 1. Copy and paste it on, second row first column for number 2 input. Let's move ahead and provide a text box to user for entering values for number 1 and number 2. In first row second column, we provide a text box. We use HTML input tag for taking an input. In order to create a text box, we have to provide a type to it as text. Move ahead and provide name and ID to it as number 1. Name attribute value is like a key, for holding value for number 1 as a request parameter. An ID uniquely identifies a particular component in an HTML file. Copy and paste this column for number 2 value and change name and ID to number 2. Moving ahead. In last row, we provide a HTML submit button, it will take values for number 1 and number 2. And submits it to action provided in form tag. In order to specify a submit button, we use input tag, mentioning type as, submit. We provide label to button as, submit, through value attribute. And that's it our form got created. Let's run index.html file on server. Right click and select run file. It starts glassfish server and deploys calculator demo war. It then runs index.html file. And you can see on browser, that it has three rows. One for number one value, one for number two value and one for submit button. Let's move ahead to NetBeans, and create a Java servlet. Index.html will forward form parameters to the servlet. In order to create a Java servlet, 
Go to Source Packages in Calculator Demo War Module, right click New and click on Servlet. New Servlet dialog box gets open. Enter Calculator Form Servlet, in the class name text box. Provide a package name, here it is com.hubberspot.calculator. Click Next. Configure Servlet Deployment section of new Servlet dialog box gets open. In this tutorial, we are going to configure Servlet using at the rate web Servlet annotation. We will not define Servlet definition in web.xml and keep checkbox as unchecked. Just click Finish. Calculator form Servlet gets created in the source packages, under com.hubberspot.calculator package. It has at the rate web servlet annotation, at the class level. Name of the servlet is, calculator form servlet. And URL patterns is, slash calculator form servlet. This URL pattern, will act as a action attribute value in index.html form, we will see it later. In process request method. Here, index.html form submits, the values for number 1 and number 2 as, request parameters, identified by name attribute in input tag. Let's create integer variables for number 1 and number 2, and extract it values from request through get parameter method. This method takes name of attribute for which value is to be extracted and returns back a string. Using integer.parseInt method we convert string value to integer value, and store in number 1 variable. Copy and paste it for number 2 variable. Thus, we got values for number 1 and number 2 form parameters. Let's move ahead and give a title to response HTML that will be created by the servlet. In order to use calculator bean, that is stateless session bean for algebraic calculation. We use at the rate EJB annotation to obtain a reference to calculator bean. At the rate EJB annotation injects dependency for reference to calculator bean in servlet. Using this reference of calculator bean, let's call all its methods such as, add, subtract, multiply and division, passing in number 1 and number 2 values.
Moving ahead. Last thing remains is to provide URL pattern as a value to action attribute in index.html file. Let's copy it. Go to index.html and paste it in action attribute value. Let's also provide a link back to index.html in calculator form servlet. We use HTML, a tag, and its href attribute for providing a link back to index.html. Let's move ahead and build Calculator Demo Enterprise Application. Right click on Calculator Demo Enterprise Application module and select Clean and Build option. After it gets built, let's deploy it. Right click on Calculator Demo Enterprise Application module and select Deploy option. After it gets deployed, let's run it. Right click on Calculator Demo Enterprise Application Module and select Run option. As, Build, Deploy and Run, Internally Build, Deploys and Run Web Module and EJB Module. It runs index.html, as it is a welcome page to web application. Let's provide value 20 for number 1 and, value 10 for number 2. Click on Submit button. It opens Calculator Form Servlet URL and displays working of Calculator Stateless Session Bean, by executing all its methods and displaying result in response. Let's click on here link and go back, and check it's working with different values. Let's provide value now as, 30 for number 1 and, value 15 for number 2. Click on Submit button. Thus. It displays functionality provided into Calculator Stateless Session Bean as expected. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to create a Java EE Stateless Session Bean, in an enterprise application using NetBeans concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com